I'm back doing Minecraft tutorial videos. In this one, we're doing a kill and death counter because it's been requested a handful of times. So, might as well just bite the bullet and go ahead and do it. Alright, and just to mention, you also want to keep inventory off for this video. So, to start things off, the infamous personal scoreboard. That down there on the bottom that's tracking kills and death is a personal scoreboard. I will have the video link in the description if you want a more detailed video on personal scoreboards. But anyways, this one right here, repeat, always active. It's going to be this one right here. It's pretty simple. It's just tracking your kills and your deaths, right? And before you do that, before we start this whole thing, you want to add a objective by the name of kills and an objective by the name of deaths. Right? This is the lifeblood of your kill death counter. If you do not add those, it will not work. Pretty simple. Right. Now to the bread and butter of this whole video. The death counter. Time to start it off. This one right here. It's repeat. Always active. It's going to be tag at A, add, dead. Right? Pretty short. You get this one. Chain, unconditional, always active. But this one is going to be tag at E, type equals players, remove dead going to be chain and always active. Uh, you re the reason why you want that specifier is just in case there's like zombies or cows or anything else lurking in your world so it doesn't count those. So we have this. There you go. Third command block. Chain always active. These are always going to be chain always active besides the first one which is repeating. Also all these are going to have a delay and take a zero. So we got this one. Scoreboard players add at A. Tag equals dead. Tag equals exclamation mark tracked deaths one alrighty and the exclamation point basically means it is excluding you if you have that tag All right, fourth one tag at a tag equals dead add tracked and we got the last one tag at a tag equals exclamation point dead remove tracked alrighty this is the main string for the death counter now to show this in action let's Go to a more suitable game mode, survival, wonderful. And as you can see, I have seven deaths. Seven deaths, wonderful. Now let's go and kill myself. I have eight deaths now. Isn't it wonderful? Man, we love this. Nine deaths. It's fantastic, truly, it's wonderful. So yeah, it's pretty simple, that's how it works. Pretty by the book stuff. Alrighty, so that is the death counter. Time for something a little bit more simple, but I have to give like a uh, little viewer discretion. Uh, the kill counter doesn't work very well. Bedrock is weird with kill counters. You can't really make a super accurate kill counter. I hate to say that to give like a not so great um, kill counter, but this is the best I can do, and this is probably the best you can get in Bedrock. You can probably make it a little bit more specific, but... In Bedrock, I don't know about Java, I'm not good with Java commands, but in Bedrock, you can very easily kill steal. So if you're using a bow or a crossbow, it won't count your kills if you kill someone with like any ranged weapon ever. It's just the nature of how kill counters work in Bedrock. So with that out of the way, let's get started. Before you do all this though, let's go to the add barrier command block here. It's going to be repeating, always active, delaying take zero. It's pretty simple. Well, simple as simple can be without all the uh, funny, goofy letters in there. Replace item at A, tag equals tracked, slot dot inventory zero. That slot dot inventory zero is this going right here. It's going to be sitting right here, pretty much, for the entirety of your existence. Alrighty. And we got the barrier, one, one, whatever. And you got that long jargon on the bottom, Minecraft item lock is pretty much just locking it to this one slot so you can't move it or mess with it in any way possible. So, pretty awesome. And let's go to this one right here, which is the actual kill counter, what is actually counting your kills. So, repeat, always active, delay, tick zero. Execute at, at E, type equals item, name equals barrier. Run scoreboard players add, at P, R equals five, kills one. So what this is doing is that when you die, or more specifically, when you're killed, you're gonna drop that barrier. And when that barrier drops, it's going to give one kill to the nearest player that is closest to the barrier. Now, as you can tell, this has lots of room for error. As I told you before, bows, crossbows, and other ranged weapons simply won't count it because you won't be in the radius. And we got this one right here. 
chain always active to line take zero and it's pretty simple it's going to be killing the barrier kill id type of use item name equals barrier so the moment it drops out of your inventory it's going to give you the kill and then kill the barrier so it does not persist so it's pretty awesome so we do all this and then that should work here's some gameplay up of me killing my split screener which is just me and a different controller of how the kill counter works it works pretty well once again sorry bow and crossbow users it's not going to work for you unless you're basically right up in their face it has been a while since i've done a tutorial so i apologize if i'm like super scatterbrained or i'm not very um well constructed i guess that would be the not so right but also not so wrong way of putting it and i'm trying to get back in the saddle of minecraft tutorial videos but yeah um thank you for sticking through and i will see you in the next one whenever that next one is